They call them the Dons. They have one of the hardest and dirtiest reputations in the game. To their supporters, they're giant killers who take on the top clubs and win. To others, they symbolize everything that's wrong with the English game. It's precisely Wimbledon's crazy image that's attracting attention from abroad. Last week, they were invited to a tournament in Spain to face the legendary Real Madrid. The Spaniards had been intrigued by Wimbledon's eccentric and charismatic style. Every player's dream is to play against the Real Madrids of this world. And the players are jumping out of their skins. They're thoroughly pleased with themselves. And uh, it's going to be a hell of experience for us because should we get into Europe next season, this will stand us in good stead for that. It seems like a dream come true. Yeah, for them, yeah. They, they couldn't have expected to play the Super Dons on a Monday night. Very lucky, I, I should think. <laughs> no, we're looking forward to it. I mean, we, the win for them, we've come a long way. You know, here we are we're in a position where we're now playing almost in Europe, you could call it. There's some big sides out there, some big players out there. And it's nice, I think the lads deserve it. I think Wimbledon Football Club deserves it. No, it's, it's, another, it's another game, it's a great experience for us. You know, coming out, it's a beautiful stadium in it. And, uh, you know, mind you, there's all these good players and all that. I wouldn't know one of them if I saw them, would you? Yeah. So here they are, the crazy gang running out to meet Real Madrid. Champions of Europe six times. In Dino's case, it's in somebody else's shirt with the name taped over. He should have been on honeymoon, but some things are more important. Before the kickoff, Wimbledon are left as onlookers as Real get all the attention. In the first half, events took a predictable course. Wimbledon launched a typical fight back. Wimbledon's rise from non-league obscurity to facing the might of Europe reads like a fairy tale.